Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're gonna pull the old engine out of the 8.6 to get ready for the 20 valve, so come along. Yeah, so this 3TC, I think is what it is. I don't really know the old Toyota engines. Uh, it's junk, and I've got a new engine for it. So the plan is to get it out on the hoist and at least get this engine out. I wanna get the 20 valve put in it at some point here soon, so that way we can start doing the wiring harness. But first things first, this one has to come out. So we gotta get it on the dollies, get it turned around and out on the lift. So Jason's gonna work on doing that while I'm doing some welding. Heck yeah. You excited, Jason? Absolutely. I would much rather take the motor out than do body work. <laughs> I'm excited. Excited to see progress. Yeah, so we got it on the hoist here. Um, engine and trans have to come out. This exhaust has got to go, all sorts of stuff like that. So it's going to be a, hopefully a pretty straightforward removal process. Um, can't really think of anything. We'll have to take it off the top, obviously. Um, might be easier to pull the transmission off first and then, because otherwise it's going to have to, yep. you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I mean, real little drive car stuff. <laughs> Jason, I would probably start getting the drive shaft off, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff, yep. and then, then yeah, we'll go from there. So we're gonna get it up in the air and I guess start plugging away at it. Josh stopped by to help with the tranny here, but it's out. Pretty easy so far. Most of the bell housing bolts were already loose, so that's a plus. Having fun, Jason? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's all we're gonna do tonight, because it's like 10 o'clock, but we'll pull the engine out next week, and then maybe start getting the 20 valve ready. All right, we're gonna get the engine out today. Nothing really holding in besides a couple wires and then the mounts, so it should come out relatively easy. I think the exhaust might fight us a little bit on the rack, so just pay attention to that, Jason. Okay. But it, it might come out. I could take it out. It's entirely up to you if you want to. It might be easier because then you can use some of those studs to hook up the, mm -hmm. the chain and everything like that. that. But once we get it out, um, probably be I mean, there's some stuff we gotta do for the 20 valve and everything like that, but that's a whole different ball of wax. So we're gonna work on getting this out here and then, um, I really don't know what the next plan is gonna be for that, but first things first, let's get this out. Well, she's out. Jason may have uh, undone the mounts wrong the first time and fought it a little bit, but yeah, not a big deal. My first time. Yeah. How was it? It was, wasn't too bad. I mean, the, the one side was super loose, this side super tight, if it made any sense. And it was switched when I took the rung bolts off. Oh. <laughs> it's probably because this was kind of cobbled in there. I don't think it ever drove with this setup, honestly. Unfortunately, there's no real way to verify any of that. If I remember right, the guy I bought it from bought it from the guy who did this swap, and he could never get it running right, and that's why he sold it, and the other guy just held onto it, and whatever. But it's out. So now what we need to do is we need to, we need to prep the 20 valve, get the, the JSP mounts on it, get the Cusco rubber bushings on it, get the 20 valve in the car, and then we'll put the T50 back in the car so we can actually start doing the wiring harness stuff. But I think 
where we're at right now is a good stopping point for this video. So all that other stuff will be in the next video. So if you guys are looking forward to more 8.6 content, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time.